Hey everyone, it's Rabbit and welcome back to my playthrough of Albert Odyssey. Where we left off previously, we continued making our way through the West Tower and we made it to the very top. And as Pierre promised us initially, Krishna was indeed waiting for us. So we found her, she spouted off more sexual innuendo and nonsense and then engaged us in battle. So legitimately, I would say most of the previous episode was us fighting her. I'm not sure if this is gonna be a repeat of what we dealt with when we fought Balan Caesarius, but I am just going to hope and pray that is not the case and that we will be taking her out pretty quickly. So yeah, let's just hop back into it. I actually made myself some more tea um, in between the previous episode and this one because I was like, I don't know how much longer I'm just going to be talking nonstop. Because <laughs> usually, you know, if we're not just in a battle, I get certain fights as breaks when I am, oh my God, what am I doing? Skull Pulse. So yeah, I get breaks when we get repeat fights that I cut out anyway, so that's always nice for my voice. <laughs> but times like this, and when we fought Balin, and there was probably one or two other enemies where we had very long extended battles as well, you just have to kind of talk the whole time, and you're just like, ugh, I need to breathe. So actually, give me a sec. I am going to take a sip of my tea. And okay, sorry about that guys. I was leaning over trying to get as much of it as possible before resuming, I think. Okay, we invigorated last time right at the end of that fight. And no, I don't wanna do that, but I'm trying to decide what do I wanna do? I think I am going to You know what, let's just have Ika attack. You know, you know let's try that. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good decision or a bad decision, but I need to be dealing some damage to this bitch so that she'll fucking die. So do you guys have any fun plans for today? I know it's kind of an awkward day for me to have off. Like most people get weekends off, and even where I was working previously, that was not the case. Sometimes I would get a Saturday and Sunday off, but it was very rare. And that's gonna be the case with this new job as well. I'm guaranteed Sundays off because our facility is closed on, did I say Saturdays? Sundays. I think I said, I don't know what I fucking said. So starting over, I'm guaranteed Sundays off because our facility is closed on Sundays, but it looks like I'm gonna be working pretty much every single fucking Saturday, which is okay, I guess. Um, because it is nice to get a day towards the middle of the week off, such as today. It's It's been a good Thursday so far. It's actually only 12, 16 p.m. right now. And, you know, it's I would say it's a good time to play this game because I'm home alone. I'm getting to chill. I feel pretty good. Oh, I don't know. Let's increase defense. No, just kidding. I feel like our shit keeps... Why is it coming off of Pike and... I'm gonna invigorate again. Maybe that's a waste of Ika's turn, but I want to make sure Pike is dealing as much deeps as he can. But yeah, it's noon, and it's a pretty good time for me to record while my husband is gone, and I don't have to worry about any background noise, which usually isn't a problem, but when he's home and I'm recording and he doesn't have something to be doing, Oftentimes, he'll kind of just like walk in and out of our office, which is where our gaming rig is. Oh, shit. So yeah, like he'll come in and out of the office, and then he'll go in and out of the bedroom, and then he'll come in and out of the living room, and then he'll come in and out of the bathroom, and you can just hear him. Basically, what I'm trying to say is he's always going in and out of every single room in our apartment, and you can hear doors opening, you can hear him like moving shit, you can hear him fucking around on the computer, you can hear him like, ah, it just, he's always doing something somewhere. So, if I'm in the living room, he, he is pretty good about not necessarily coming in here, but sometimes he will, or he'll be doing things right in the room that's adjacent to our living room. So you'll hear him kind of banging around there. So anyway, I say all of that just to say, today's a good day to record because he's not gonna be in and out of this room. He's not gonna be in and out of any of the other rooms. So it makes my life a bit easier. Let's see, I do want to get this off of myself and Kia. Just so we're not taking unnecessary damage over time from her poison. 
Okay. Oh, no. Not this shit again. Oh, God. Oh, good. She just put people to sleep. <laughs> I like the way Eamon looks sleeping. That's so cute. Uh, okay. So. Mm, I don't know if I really want to waste... Let me just go ahead and do this. Because she's still poisoned, too. And we'll get Eamon up and running as soon as it's Ika's turn, which I think is next. But anyway, so as... What the fuck? I was not even paying attention, so I don't know what that said. I think at this point, I'm literally just mashing buttons, and I'm just like, okay, fucking die, Krishna, fucking die. Okay. If she would die in this round of turns, that would make my day complete. Please die. Oh, God damn it. You're never gonna die, are you, woman? So yes, as far as what else I'm going to be doing today, I'm going to finish recording this and then I have to um, do the editing on our computer and I don't think Andrew and I have too many plans and god damn it, I just fucking, oh, he just woke up. Okay, cool. So I shouldn't have wasted that turn healing bitch tits in the first place, Kia, because fucking Eamon came out of it himself. Okay, but let me get her out of this. I'm so glad she is not like paralyzed or what is it? Um, what is the word that I'm looking for? Petrified. I was like, what the fuck? What is that fucking word? Yes, I'm so glad she did not paralyze or petrify more than one person. Um, I think Pike's the only one who was turned to stone, which I will take. But if Pike and Ika get turned to stone or get paralyzed, that is not good. Although I'm pretty sure we have some items that can counteract that. I don't want to be in that position. But yeah, I guess if worse becomes worse, then we do have Grizz who is not affected by status ailments. So, you know, it could just be Grizz versus Kia if it comes down to it and we should be fine. But this bitch cannot possibly have that much health left. Okay, let's see. What do I want to do now? Damn it, I just, I'm reaching a point where I'm like not sure anymore. Invigorate, increase attack. Okay, I'm gonna focus on increasing our defense. I don't know why it's called, maybe it's repulse? It looks like repulse, like as in you are repulsed by something disgusting. I don't know, some of these translations for spell names like lecture I don't I don't like that I, I don't know if it's supposed to be clever or funny uh, I just I don't get it working designs I don't get it I will admit it maybe some of their cleverness is above me fucking Krishna well Amen should be okay although he's taking quite a wall up his defense just must not be very good Oh, and you're almost out, aren't you? Of magic. You still have enough for two more of these spells, so... Kia should be okay. And guys, we're gonna keep our fingers crossed that Krishna will die. <laughs> at least by the end of this episode. Like, fuck. Alright, come on, Eamon. And it should be Grizz's turn soon. Yeah. Eamon might die, but at this point, I don't even fucking care. Like, I am not worried about it. Which, I'm sorry, Eamon. You know I love you, but I can't be fucking around with your bullshit. And let's see. Increase strength? No. Increase attack power. You know what? Let's go ahead and put this on Pike. Hopefully, Eamon can survive until I get back to Grizz. But if not, it was nice knowing you, Eamon. Magic charm? What the fuck? I feel like she has a million spells. And, oh, no! No! You bitch! Oh, my God. Great. So now I'm going to have to take another round to remove this bullshit off of Pike. Oh, or actually... Oh, no, okay, just kidding. I keep thinking, because for me and in previous games, dispel means to remove a debuff that's been applied to you. 
but I think in this game it removes one that they apply to themselves, and by they I mean the enemy. So I don't know what that's all about. That is so odd to me. But okay, Eamon survived, and I guess that was the goal, so I should be happy about that. But let me go ahead and get this shit off of Pike so he does not slaughter one of us. Okay. Pike, you are back to normal. Not this shit again. Well, I guess I should take anything over that stupid flags offering or whatever it is where she does random status ailments to us. Because that is some balls, I have to say. And I feel like even with our defense boost, we are still just getting fucked in the ass here. Krishna, please. Why won't you die? Oh, thank God she's dead. <laughs> Fucking Eamon is like barely hanging on here. Oh my God, that's a lot of experience. All right, Pike, how many levels are you going to get? That's two, three. All right, three for Pike. How many will Ika get? Death Rune. Ooh, we are checking that out, guys. Two, three. All right, so three and three. Let's see if Grizz gets three as well. All right, three for everyone so far. All right. Let's just... Oh, sorry, Kia. I'm just, like, ready to get through all of your bullshit. So both Kia and Ika gained a new spell, which we will check out in a minute. Pike, this isn't how it was supposed to be. You were supposed to die. You were going to be my undead toy? What is your problem, Krishna? I think it's probably best that you die. Well, I, I you know, it's kind of weird. Like, she wasn't super mean to us. She was just kind of crazy. So in a way, I feel sorry for her. Krishna, no! Please don't tell me we have to fight Pierre. It hurts so good. What? Krishna? You speaking from beyond the grave? What the? <gasps> Decimus? Or Ceramus? No, Decimus died. This is Ceramus. Where am I? What am I doing here? Why do I have a red nose in my pocket? Oh, so Krishna turned Ceramus into Pierre. That is a fucking twist. Well, I'm glad we found him. Pierre was Ceramus? That explains why he was the buffest clown I've ever seen. Yeah, <laughs> we'll tell him the story. Why wouldn't you? Like, it's the least you can fucking do. Nyuk, nyuk. What? What's going on? What are you doing? Please don't break it. <laughs> Has he lost his mind? Do you think maybe the spell hasn't completely worn off yet? <laughs> I think Ceramus might be slightly damaged from the experience. Post-traumatic stress disorder. I've seen it in many dragon men. Wow, I've never watched someone go completely mental before. Is that it? I hope we're not going to end on that note. Okay, it's disabled. We better speed things up. Novia's gaining power. I don't like that. I hope Ceramus is going to be okay. Vision armor and angel feathers. What the fuck? Angel feathers? Guys, what the fuck is that all about? Oh, there we go. Vision armor, armor, and angel feathers are armor. So they're probably for Eamon. We will, of course, go in order. Vision armor is worse. Okay. Is it angel feathers? Those are worse. Uh, I'm confused. All right, so the vision armor is for you, Grizz. So we will hook you up. And then this is... I'm confused. What are the angel feathers for? No. I don't get it. And we found the magic bikini, I think, in the southern tower. So, uh, you know what? I give up. I'm not trying to understand anything anymore. So, I will pause the camera and I will bring you guys back as I did last time when we are 
officially outside because I don't think this teleports us to the front. And I don't want you guys to have to watch all those fights. So yeah, we will be right back in a second as I'm being neurotic and making sure there are no treasure chests anywhere. So yeah, I'll see you guys one moment when we are outside of the Western Tower. Alrighty guys, so we made it outside in one piece and everyone I think got at least one level. Maybe Kia got two, I don't know. That took way longer than it needed to because the pathing ended up changing up since there were no longer those weird vortex looking doors that Pierre had put in place. Anyway, I just wanted to honor my promise. We are going to check out both Ika and Kia's new spell. So Ika got death rune, which just says death attack. So I don't know if it has a percentage of instant kills on enemies. So maybe like it's a 20% chance or something. I don't know. And Kia, got Krakatoa, which is an earthquake attack. And I like that name, that's pretty cool. So, okay, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. And what we will do is I am going to go to some town. I'm thinking I'm just gonna go to Chestoria because I know for sure there is an inn there. I'm going to rest up, restock on anything if I need it, although I don't think we really need any more items, and then save. And when we come back together, we should be right on top of the East Tower because we're gonna go there before we hit up the North Tower because I don't know who's waiting for us in there. And I'm not sure if we can even access it quite yet. So anyway, I am your host, Rabbit. This is my playthrough of Albert Odyssey legend of Eldeen on the oh, Sega Saturn. I'm like out of breath, guys, from talking throughout all of fucking Krishna's fight. So yeah, I will see you on the next episode in just a sec.